In this video, I am going to review a very exciting new product from Track the Track Eras. It's a mini compressor built to compete against the crop of new mini compressors right here. I have a ton and we're going to have a shootout, but we're going to focus for now on this track right here. This is exciting because it's a big company, American company, and they put some industrial design, some engineering behind their product. It's not just their relabeled product from Asia. It's not the smallest, not the lightest, not the fastest, but they really tried to achieve a balance and solve the problem. You know, the ergonomics, the heat, the noise, all of that. So here we go. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to give you a brief overview. I'm going to give you three or four major tests, and I'm going to give you pros and cons in the end. So center button right there. And what's really exciting about it is nice materials it not it's not just plastic or, or or metal it's kind of a mix of soft touch materials so it doesn't get too hot it uh, you got good grip on it and it has two gauges uh, first is what is the target gauge and what is the current psi and uh, right there it even has a light right there pretty handy a lot of ventilation right here and then the usb plug is protected it's water sealed by this rubber flap right here so that's pretty cool everything i have is pretty much has an open usb-c port so there you go it has a re removable module right here uh, valve and then you have a room for an extra valve right here it looks like a tripod mount but nice packaging as i said 99 dollars for this thing and that's with a dealer so any track dealer can can buy it that means they get a cut of the action already so the fact that the dealers involved can make money is good. Uh, online retailers who are available, and in particular, the Trek store, they do really well at shipping product direct on accessories. And I think I'll have an affiliate code. And if you click on the link below, I will get a small commission on it. So I appreciate that. So the package is very cool again. They have a bag and I don't know, you might not be impressed by this, but everything I, I see, with the other products, it's just a little kind of a sandwich bag. <laughs> so this thing, the fact that it has some nice materials, I wouldn't be kind of embarrassed putting this in my pack. Uh, and it has a little net for the accessories. What are the accessories? The accessories are an extension hose, which is cool if your valve is hard to reach. And it's Presta or Schrader right there. Notice too that the Schrader valve and the Presta valve have a rubberized tip. And that's actually important because these things get hot. So uh, and this makes your uh, fingers hot or your, your valve hot. So that's good. They have a, a what do you call this? A uh, needle for your toys, USB-C plug, and they have a little handle. Where do you put the handle? I am not sure, but that would be cool. Oh, there's a little um, uh, uh, hole right here that you can feed it through. So cool. A lot of work went in the ergonomics. For sure. So let me get you through the testing. It's all about quantification of data, right? So you can make a, an, an analysis of, of which one which one to get. Uh, and then come back to me and I'll give you pros and cons and a bottom line on this thing. We're going to have a speed test and also a sound test using my devices here. We're going to have a, a, an air pressure test, how accurate is the gauge and how fast does it uh, inflate it and how many times. Uh, this is a 29er, 2.4, very accurate, 2.4, oh, 2.5 even, oh, snap. Okay, 2.5, and then it has a gauge, so we can check the gauge, and then uh, you can hear the sound. It'll be consistent across my testing, and um, the mic is here, so it's going to be a little closer than what we want or what you are going to experience out in the field, but hey, why not? So we open the valve and then we'll go to 24. So I'm going to say 24 uh, and we'll see how accurate this guy is. green 20 
24, 25 on that one. Uh-huh. So we'll put a timer how long that took. And I'm going to remove the valve just to be quick about it. Oh, went to zero. So we are really emptying this thing much more than you're going to empty your, your tire on a day-to-day -day basis. Still says four bars out of four. Not even warm. The valve is warm, but it's rubberized. That's cool. Uh, and the body is plastic. So that's cool. Let's turn it on again. Something interesting with the track is it has two gauges. The green is the target and the white is the current, which is really cool. Most have only one gauge. Also has a light. So if it's a little bit dark, you can see what you're doing. And attempt number two. The buttons, I wish they labeled it. It's black on black. I can't see nothing. So hit 24, 24 over there too. All right, attempt number three. Not even hot. Twenty-four and twenty-four. Attempt number four it says two bar. Four. Still says two bar. Oh, it's getting very hot. Wow. All right, attempt number five. It says two bar. Uh huh. Two bar, and then it just shut off. 13 psi. All right. So the gauge is not entirely accurate, but performance four and a half pumps is very good. Okay, I'll turn it on. You see the vibration and the sound. Start pumping. Press 100. Nine, nine, 100. All right. Temp is 99.5. All right. A lot of testing, right? So uh, it's not the fastest, not the quietest, but it's it's right there in the middle. And the, you know, it inflated four and a half times, the, the 29er. And it, and it did the, the, uh, the road tire too, to 100 PSI. So it took, as, as it gets hotter, it gets slower. So on the, on the road bike tire, it was quite slow. So pros and cons, let's go through the cons. The cons is it's a little bit slow. Uh, and then, you know, a lot of these other pumps, like the, the Psych Plus, the, as, as you get through the reps, they're very consistent. This thing, I think it slows itself down as it gets hot to keep it cool, I think, I, th I, I would guess. Uh, the other thing is, another con is the gauge wasn't quite right. Basically, it's a little bit deceiving uh, when it was, you know, after four inflations, I knew it was getting empty already, but it still showed two bars, two out of four, um, and then it just shut off uh, with two bars. So not good calibration on their gauge. And um, 
Another con is another con is the black on black. They all seem to do this, but you know, all the, the labeling on the buttons is not colored. It would be a lot easier if they just gave us a, a white color, make the labels easy. And uh, any other weaknesses, I would say, I'm, you know, it's not the smallest, um, you know, it, but it's got a good grip to it, got a good handle. All right, so let's go through the, the pros. The pros is the industrial design is the best. You know, we got some, we got some big ones. We got some, uh, some fancy ones, some trick ones, some um, one with a tail light. But they said, no, let's just solve the problem of inflating make it easy to grip and make it reliable. The fact that it went four and a half times is very good uh, for this size. And uh, the labeling, so, uh, the display is excellent. The, the green for the target and then the white for the current pressure is very good. The pressure uh, reading is accurate too. And the placement of the, the display is actually really good. Most of them have the display right here. But what that means is you have to put the, the valve at the bottom. It's very unnatural. Uh, some have it here and you could, you, could, you could be standing up. But here seems to be the happy medium where you can inflate it like that and you can see what is going on. What is the pressure? Okay, so there we go. Um, great packaging, great industrial design, not without weaknesses, but... Oh man, I'm super impressed with the Trek Airrush. So subscribe to the channel because we're going to review all these, uh, these actual other mini pumps and do a side-by-side -side comparison among them. Thanks a ton, everybody.